Hello, my name is Emily Mitchell, and I'll be your host and teacher today. It's nice to see you again. Last time, we learned about filling out a job application and about calling into work if you're going to be late. This time, we will learn about the importance of following medical instructions. We will also learn new important words, cancel, customer, and schedule. Let's see what's happening with Sue and Rosalba. Rosalba, Mrs. Kenner won't be coming in today. She has a change in her schedule. Again? That customer changes her mind more than anyone I know. Well, that means no appointments for two hours. This business is too slow. I could sweep up. I'll fill out orders for the beauty supply store. Mm -hmm. Oh, hello, miss. Can hello. I Can I help you with anything? Yes, I need my hair done right away. Hi, my name is Sue. I'm Dulce. Would you like to start with the shampoo? Yes, and I want a perm with a lot of curls. I don't know if that's a good idea. Your hair is very thin and delicate. Curls might be a problem with your hair. No, it's okay. It's a special occasion. My boyfriend's coming home from school to surprise his parents. He just called, and I want to look really nice for him. It'll be okay. I don't know, but I'll try. Okay, come on over here. Hello again. Let's review what you just saw. Is the beauty shop busy? No, it isn't. Does a young woman enter the beauty shop? Yes, she does. Does she have an appointment? No, she doesn't. Does the young woman want her hair done? Yes, she does. What is the young woman's name? Her name is Dulce. Is Dulce getting ready for a special occasion? Yes, she is. Is Sue worried about Dulce's hair? Yes, she is. Does Dulce want Sue to do the work anyway? Yes, she does. Let's see what happens next. Don't worry. This happens sometimes. These curls look funny. It just needs a little work. Sue, this isn't what I asked for. Dulce, don't worry about it. She'll fix it. What's my boyfriend going to think? Sue, would you please come here? What are you trying to do here? She asked for curls. I gave her curls. These curls are going in every direction. Were you careful with the solution that you put in her hair? Yes. I was worried about her hair, so I was extra careful. I read the instructions, but I thought I should put water in the solution so it wouldn't be so strong. Sue, you should never do things that aren't in the instructions. You should always follow the instructions. Now, if you didn't think that you could give her the perm that she wanted, you should have told me. Yes, but business is so slow, and I thought for sure I was doing the right thing. Sue, please be careful. Next time, tell me if there's something that you can't do. Okay, Marvin. I'm very sorry. Now let's try and fix Dulcie's hair and make her look pretty. Does Sue follow the instructions on the hair treatment? No, she doesn't. Does Dulce's hair turn out the way it is supposed to? No, it doesn't. Is Dulce happy about the way her hair turned out? No, she isn't. Is Dulce worried about what her boyfriend will think? Yes, she is. 
Does Marvin like the work that Sue has done? No, he doesn't. Did Sue try to do something that was different than what the instructions said? Yes, she did. Will Marvin and Sue try to fix the problem with Dulce's hair? Yes, they will. I don't know what's wrong with me. I try so hard to do a good job, but I keep making mistakes. I just want Marvin to be happy with my work. We just need to be more careful. These are so beautiful. Where did you buy them? I made them. Are you serious? Yes, my grandmother taught me how to make them. I also took some classes in jewelry making. I didn't know you could do this. Can I buy a pair? No, Rosalba. You've been such a good friend. I want you to have them as a gift. Thank you. Marvin, did you see my new earrings? Sue made them. They're very nice. Could you both sit down for a moment? Marvin, I am so sorry about what happened today. No, Sue, don't worry. This isn't about that. We all know that business has slowed down for the past few months, and I might need to let one of you go. Oh, excuse me. He'll probably let me go. I haven't been doing a good job. No, he'll probably fire me. You've been here a lot longer than I have. Can you believe it? We've had another cancellation. It's been a long day. Let's just go home. Let's review a little. Did Sue buy the earrings? No, she didn't. Did Sue make the earrings? Yes, she did. Does Rosalba like the earrings? Yes, she does. Does Sue give Rosalba a pair of earrings? Yes, she does. Does Marvin tell Sue and Rosalba that work has been very slow? Yes, he does. Are Rosalba and Sue worried about their jobs? Yes, they are. Let's take a minute now to practice some of the words and expressions that were used in the scenes we just saw. Many of the expressions are very useful in our daily lives. You will have time to repeat what each person says if you need more time, you can always press the pause button on the VCR. Do you have an appointment? No, I don't. What can we do for you today? I would like a shampoo and a hairstyle. Is it all right to add water to the solution? I don't know. We should ask. How would you like your hair done? I'd like it done with lots of curls. Did you make these beautiful earrings? Yes, I made them. Is it important to follow these instructions? It's very important. If there is no work, what will we do? We might have to work fewer hours. There 
are several vocabulary words that we have used in today's lesson. We should practice using these words. You will have a chance to repeat the word and practice the pronunciation. If you need more time, you can always press the pause button. When the customer cannot make her appointment at the beauty shop, what does she do? I cannot come in today. I must cancel my appointment. Okay, thank you for calling. I will note that you will cancel for today. The word is cancel. What must Sue follow in order to do her work correctly? Do I need to follow these instructions? Yes, it is important to follow the instructions if you want to do the work correctly. The word is instructions. Who are the people that come to do business at your work? I'd like to have my hair done here at your beauty shop. Good. Then you will be a new customer. The word is customer. What do you need to do to get an appointment? I need to schedule an appointment with my doctor. What do you call the list that has all the appointments? Our schedule says that she will be in at 4 p.m. The word is schedule. Now let's check on our friends, Min and Gustavo. Let's see how Gustavo is feeling and whether he is following the doctor's instructions. I'm feeling fine. How are you feeling? Gustavo, I'm feeling terrible. I don't know what to do about my parents. They want me to work here at the restaurant, but I want to do other things. Well, can't you tell them? I try, but I don't think they understand that I'm interested in other things. Gustavo, Thank you for listening. <clears throat> Gustavo, are you all right? I just felt a little dizzy. Maybe it's because I stood up too fast. Maybe it's from my medicine. This happened once before. Let me see the medicine. Do you eat before you take these? No, I take it whenever my back hurts. You need to follow instructions. It says here that you should take this medicine after you eat. The prescription is too strong to take on an empty stomach. What's this? Is this paint? Well, actually, I helped some friends yesterday and today do some work. It was nothing very hard. Gustavo, you're supposed to follow the doctor's instructions. She told you to rest and not work. I know, but I need the work. I need the money. You will not get better unless you follow Dr. Sin's instructions. I will stay in bed the rest of the week. I will rest my back and I will get better. Let's go. Is Min upset because her parents want her to only work in the restaurant? Yes, she is. Does Gustavo worry about Min? Yes, he does. Does Gustavo feel dizzy? Yes, he does. Is Gustavo following the instructions for his medicine? 
No, he isn't. Should Gustavo take his medicine with a meal? Yes, he should. Has Gustavo been working? Yes, he has. Should Gustavo be working? No, he shouldn't. Now let's see how Jose and Ivan are doing. Jose, let me help you with these bags. Thank you. You want to stay for dinner tonight? I'm burning rice and beans on tonight's menu. Mmm, sounds great. Is Martha working? Of course. We take turns cooking, but I look forward to the evenings when she cooks. My cooking is terrible. I, I have to help with the laundry. I have to help watch the kids. I don't know if I can do all those things and not go crazy. When I come home from work, I want to rest. I don't want to do all those things. I'm going to school because I want to work at something I can enjoy. Isn't that what Marta did? Yes, but she has a family and responsibilities. I know, but aren't those your responsibilities too? Yes, I know. I guess I just miss her and her cooking. While Jose gets dinner ready, Let's discuss what we just saw. What is Jose carrying when we first see him? He is carrying groceries. Who helps Jose? Ivan helps Jose. Is Marta working? Yes, she is. Is Jose's cooking very good? No, it isn't. Is Jose happy with his new responsibilities? No, he isn't. Does Jose miss Marta? Yes, he does. Let's move on to the focused listening section of our lesson. You will need a pencil and your worksheet or a piece of paper. In the following exercise, you will see a scene. Afterwards, you will be asked a question about the scene. Look at the worksheet you will see three groups of three choices. You will pick the choice that best describes the scene. Listen carefully to what is said. That woman is never on time. Today she's half an hour late. Last week she was 15 minutes late. It's terrible when people don't show up on time. The next customer is the one who suffers because they have to wait. Mrs. Rivers always does this. Sue, you're waiting for Mrs. Rivers. Didn't Marvin tell you? Tell me what? She won't be coming in today. She canceled her appointment. Nobody told me. Here is a question about the scene you just saw. Why did Sue wait for Mrs. Rivers? Now look at and listen to the three choices. Circle the number of the best answer on your worksheet or write the number on your paper. Number one, Rosalba told Sue to wait. Number two, nobody told Sue that the appointment was canceled. Number three, Marvin thought that Mrs. Rivers would show up. The correct answer 
is number two. Nobody told Sue that the appointment was canceled. Let's try again. Watch and listen to Dulce and Sue. Did you follow the instructions on the solution? I was careful because I knew her hair was delicate. You need to be careful with the instructions. You need to follow them closely. But I added extra water. That's why the curls are so crazy. Sue, you must be careful with the instructions. Here is a question about the scene you just saw. What did Sue add to the solution? Now look at and listen to the three choices. Circle the number of the best answer on your worksheet or write the number on your paper. Number one, Sue added hair dye. Number two, Sue added conditioner. Number three, Sue added water. The correct answer is number three, Sue added water. Why are you dizzy? Did you follow the directions on the prescription? I take this medicine whenever my back starts to hurt. Is that what the prescription says to do? It says to take it when I eat. Maybe you should follow the directions. Here is a question about the scene you just saw. When should Gustavo take his medicine? Now look at and listen to the three choices. Circle the number of the best answer on your worksheet or write the number on your paper. Number one, Gustavo should take the medicine whenever his back hurts. Number two, Gustavo should take his medicine before he goes to work. Number three, Gustavo should take his medicine when he eats. The correct answer is number three, Gustavo should take his medicine when he eats. You can stop the tape, rewind, and replay the conversations if you need to try this exercise again. This time, you learned about the importance of following instructions on medicine. We also saw the importance of following instructions at work. We also learned new things about our friend, Sue. She is very talented with jewelry. Next time, you will learn about home safety precautions for gas leaks, earthquakes, and fire protection. Thank you for taking the time to study with me today.